There are those in the Empire that would see us not sign this treaty, who have harbored resentment and hatred for so long that their side is clouded. We have defeated our mutual enemies and are united to pave the way to a more prosperous future, one where we can ensure that no force will deter us. Our new home, Rahansu, is a bright gem in the darkness. Our past is but a shadow across her face, but daybreak has not yet come, and so a shadow can still rise from the dark. Why haven't they finished us? A logical question, Commander. Their movement suggests the instincts of a predator. They may be probing for the weakest target. I think they found it. We are all getting out of here, Commander. Is your phaser still functioning? Erratically. Captain's log. Stardate 9933.6.22. The Phoenix, such as she is, has reached Katrasi Prime, the last known coordinates of our diplomatic shuttle. It's been two days since we received word from Commander John that they were responding to a distress call from the planet. Long-range scans show no hostile activity in the area. More of a relief than I can say since my ship is in no shape for combat. Commanding a starship without a bridge is like sailing without a tiller. Entering the neutral zone in such conditions seems like madness, but the Phoenix is the only ship in the sector. Trusting that our friends on the other side of the border won't respond with force is unsettling at best. Priority now is to find our people. Mr. Carco. Status. We have repair teams working on all shifts, Captain. And we've transferred full command, navigation, and tactical to engineering. How long before I have my bridge back? So we've only now been able to shore up- As guest, the... Lieutenant. Four to six weeks, assuming that we get back to Lagoa Station quickly. Time to end those pips, Mr. Kako. DeSoto to Dr. Solan. I need you in sickbay level two immediately. Count on it, sir. Captain, here's the damage report. Computer to Major Natira. Please report to transport room four. Thank you, sir. Solera. Looks like we're going to be guests in engineering for a while. We'll do our best to make you feel at home, sir. Home? Would be on a sailboat with the wind at my back. Can you do that? Sir? Never mind. Just do what you can to help Cargo get us out of your head and back on my bridge. Captain, the security team is ready to transport, but we're picking up areas of sensor distortion on the surface. It's difficult to confirm a sat lock. Sir, I should handle the transport. Fair enough. Any sign of the diplomatic team? Negative. We've detected a whole fragment of the shuttle, but the same distortion is making it hard to track any life signs. Looks like we'll have to find them the old-fashioned way. Sir. Request permission Denied. to join- Denied. I appreciate the enthusiasm, Lieutenant, but I need you on the helm. We might have to leave in a hurry. Aye, sir. <sighs> I was under the impression I would have more of a say. Well, now would be a good time to unburden yourself of such an assumption. I had no idea what you were getting me into, did I? You didn't need to. The Ascension Project was your mission and you did your duty. 
You did a hell of a job, too. And my reward is to let the politicians pick my crew? What did you think was going to happen here, Captain? The Phoenix is not just another Starfleet vessel. It's in a unique position. Politically, culturally, strategically. There's not a politician within two quadrants who doesn't want his fingers on this ship. Wonderful. I'll just stay in my ready room, and you and the politicians can run the ship remotely. It'll be very restful. For God's sakes, Bryce. You don't get everything you want your first time through the gate. There's a much bigger picture here, Bryce. I'm asking you to be patient. A pawn. Excuse me? You're asking me to be another pawn in your political game of chess. Well, considering how hard your damn head is, I'd say you were more like a rook. Chess involves sacrifice. How many of your pieces end up being casualties, Admiral? Once the perimeter is secure, I'll signal for the captain and doctor. Initiate dispersal pattern delta. I have the last known coordinates of Commander Jarn's team. However, there are several areas of distortion preventing transport. I'm sending you down just outside the affected area. Understood. Ready all weapons. Set phasers to stun. Lieutenant! What happened? Our new buddies aren't leaving after all. What do you mean? There's going to be a saber force assigned to the Phoenix indefinitely. And they're bringing on more of them. What? Why? It's been more than a month since the attack. They're just sitting around doing nothing. Apparently the attack on Libertas Station has destabilized the diplomatic situation, requiring extraordinary measures. Dispatch the security team to deck 17. Is that what the captain said? He delivered the news. I don't think it was his decision. Well, they have been very professional. Lena, that's not the point. Saber? Special Assault and Battle Recon Excursion? Does that sound like Starfleet to you? They don't belong on a starship. This is Starfleet Intelligence messing with the captain's security decisions. Lieutenant No Run. It's Neron. Looks like we're going to be seeing a lot more of each other. Yes, Major Croft. The captain informed me. I want to make sure my people work seamlessly with your security teams. I'm assigning a liaison officer to coordinate with you directly. Lieutenant! Alti Natera, enemy engagement specialist. Enemy engagement and liaison officer? You'd be surprised how often the two skills overlap. Wormhole is stable. Ready. Transport. <laughs> Clear. 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 Natira to Phoenix. Perimeter is clear. We have a go. Come so closer. It was too close. What if I had been on the bridge? Do you think there would be a risk in your position here? Has anything changed? Shooting yourself on the foot won't help. You're still coming on this mission. Oh, Captain. How fortunate. If you have a moment, there's a problem with my quarters. Oh, by all means. The Captain has absolutely nothing better to do than to discuss your accommodations. Only a few missing crewmen. Nothing serious. Doctor. Crewmen missing? How... regrettable. My apologies, Captain. We'll speak later, Minister. Two for transport. Standing by. Hopefully this bloody thing won't drop us on the edge of a cliff or the middle of an ocean. The subspace aperture transport system is the most reliable and efficient transporter ever developed, Doctor. I don't see how being sucked through a wormhole is any better than having one's atoms scattered through space. Do you ever stop complaining? I might, if things on this ship ever got as quiet as you promised me. Ready, sir. If I remember correctly, you got me started on this stuff. Aldebaran whiskey. Not just now, thank you. 
Welcome aboard, Thomas. How are you? Dreadful. What is this rubbish you've dragged me into? I'm sorry, did you say reporting for duty, sir? And what in God's name are you all wearing? Please tell me that's not the new duty uniform. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's ghastly. Although, it does have a certain whimsical je ne sais quoi, doesn't it? What am I doing here, Bryce? You're going to be running back and forth to Rahansu, getting in all manner of trouble. I'm not on board two minutes, there's already a station under attack. You need a combat med specialist. Could have had any doctor in Starfleet. So, why bring on a tired old exobiologist? She's a state ship, Thomas. Nothing but admirals and ambassadors on board. All tack. And diplomacy. While they smile through their lying teeth. I need someone I can count on. To do what? To have no tact or diplomacy whatsoever. Hmm. Think of all the interesting people you're going to meet. It's got to be better than Starbase 515. I was very comfortable on the Starbase. And you know I hate interesting people. <laughs> then tell me. Why did you accept this assignment? Because a very old friend, whom I have not seen in eight years, has apparently gone mad and taken command of a state ship. And he needs my help. Welcome aboard, Doctor. Reporting for duty, sir. Transport. Is that the Archer, Lieutenant? Likely, sir. I've confirmed our scans. By the markings, it's definitely a Federation diplomatic shuttle. The last known coordinates of Commander Jarn's team is 300 meters from our location, just over that ridge. Wonderful. That's going to be a lovely hike. Well, we can always have Natir carry you, if you like. I think I'll be quite all right. Captain, I'm reading three humanoid life signs. A Romulan, a half-human, half-Altusian, and a Sedacian. Sounds like our people. Lieutenant? I'm not sure, Captain. The life signs started disappearing one by one. My equipment just shut down. Everybody, check your weapons. My phaser's not working, Captain. Mine isn't working either. So much for rescuing. Avari to Phoenix. <laughs> All right, keep your eyes open, people. Major Natira, you take point. Shaw, you're with her. Mr. Naran, you take six. Commander, these creatures, I've been thinking. Are you sure that's a good idea in your condition? They seem almost animal in nature. But their attacks are coordinated. The weapons are refined metal. And the distress signal that they used to lure us out here... It was very convincing, wasn't it? I don't think they could have done it on their own. Still got him? Life signs come and go. Everybody down.
What was that? I'd rather we didn't wait around to find out. Keep moving! <gasps> go, go, go! Tira, shot! Cover fire! A signal, we must be close. Keep moving. There, Captain. Why well, am I not surprised to see you here? Well, I can't let you have all the fun. Wait, where's Nitir and Shaw? They were just behind us. the ship right now. Avari to Phoenix! Glad to hear your voice, sir. <laughs> Solera, can you get a transporter lock on any of our crew? Sir, you're so good. Please repeat. <laughs> now would be an excellent time, Commander. <laughs> Where's the rest of the way team? Solera, report! Oh, Crown Timish! Tau Krimich! Med team to transporter room four. Captain, can you hear me? There's been a malfunction. Solera, report. Captain, there's been a transporter malfunction. I can't explain it. Detira! I don't know what these things are, sir, but I do not like being played with. Shaw. Lost him. John, Tavon, stay with the doctor. Detira and I are going after Shaw. Hold this position. Oh, yes, we're quite cozy here. We'll just build a fire and sing Kumbaya till you get back, shall we? Captain, you should know. Just before the shuttle went down, I picked up a faint reading that might indicate some sort of hyperonic radiation. That could explain the malfunctions to our equipment. There is something else. We could find no evidence of a distress beacon when we first landed. Your point. We must consider the possibility that we are the victims of an elaborate subterfuge, what you would call an ambush. Noted. Jarn, keep trying on communications. Let's get moving, Major. Elaborate subterfuge. For a man trained in Vulcan logic, I must say you're showing a very healthy level of paranoia. As you were so fond of pointing out, Doctor, I am not a Vulcan. Don't you get tired of having two worlds fighting in that shiny head of yours? Doctor, your insults continue to be as dull as they are obvious. You two, knock it off! We're going after Shaw. Bloody daft, I say. The Major is with him. They'll be fine. I'm not sure what's scarier, those creatures or her. of my brothers. Now that you mention it, I see the family resemblance. Very humorous, Captain. So tell me, Telek. <laughs> Why? Oh, the cloak and dagger. All for you, dear Captain. Project Labyrinth. Labyrinth. My project at the Science Academy? This is fun! Your father knew of Project Labyrinth. It seems you have destiny after all, Captain. All this trouble? For little old me? No, Captain. What's in your head? Uh, uh, uh. 
Alive or dead, I can still get what I want. Goodbye, Captain. Captain, are you all right? I'll manage. You do recall there's a stun setting on that? My apologies, Captain. But given the erratic behavior of our phasers, the only logical decision was that your life was worth more than the increased chance of a malfunction. Please inform Admiral McKenzie that our task force is investigating the last known whereabouts and will... ...have a comprehensive report within two days. Admiral, I need to have a word with you. Please excuse us, Ensign. Captain. You've heard? Admiral Loken just informed me that Ambassador Laza has been replaced. Now I'm getting to Vaughn instead? He was assigned to your ship at the behest of the Federation Council. You may not like it, but there's nothing I can do about it. Any other officer, fine. But after all, Dono 5, you of all people should know your that- Your father's death and the loss of everyone else was a tragedy. Losing him still haunts me. But nevertheless, he would want us to both move on. My father would have wanted justice for Tavon's careless actions. Not for him to stand on the bridge of a Federation starship wearing a diplomatic corps uniform. The decision stands, Captain, and you'll have to live it. The peace negotiations are the Federation's top <sighs> priority, and Tavon's presence on the Phoenix is vital. Permission to speak freely. Out with it. I don't want him on my ship. And believe me, I'll find a way to get rid of him. You will make him part of your crew, or I will bust you back to Ensign. I won't make it easy. Find a way to make it work, Captain. In the spirit of cooperation, then. I formally request a change in my senior staff. I'm listening. You know exactly what I want. Captain Sidney would be up in arms if I approve that transfer. And you know how she can get. And besides, I've already explained it to you. That every captain in Starfleet wants Bouchon as a science officer. Precisely. Request approved. Sydney owes me a favor anyways. And now, Captain, so do you. Now, get out of my office before I change my mind. What do we have here? Fascinating. This device was the source of the hypronic radiation we've been detecting. Of course. Every time they got close, our equipment would malfunction. Avari to Natira! You called? Shaw? Phoenix to away team. Yes, Mr. Carco. The distortion is cleared, sir. Thank you, Lieutenant. Beam the entire way team out, including Shaw's body. Aye, sir. <laughs> Telec delusion. Mission accomplished. Excellent, Commander. Return to base. Immediately. Welcome back, sir. Commander Vujan. She's in sickbay level three. Level three? Sorry, no, level two. Dr. DeSoto is treating her. Level three is the morgue. The rest of you report to sickbay as well. There's a body of a Romulan soldier down there. Any sign of a ship in the area? Negative, sir. Hmm. Get a forensic team to sickbay and bring that Romulan aboard. Aye, Captain. The planet needs to be quarantined as hostile, sir. Thought I told you to report to sickbay. Get some rest. You're out there for two days. I'm fine, sir. Really. <sighs> All right, then. I want both Captain. reports. Captain! What is it, Lieutenant? It's the Romulan, sir. 
He's gone. Gone. Confirmed, Captain. No sensor contact, no interference, negative sat log. He's vanished. Elaborate subterfuge? That appears to have been something of an understatement. Lena. Lay in a course for Rahanzu. Aye, sir. Rahanzu? Captain, we haven't even begun to investigate what happened on Katrasi Prime. Our report to Starfleet- wait, Commander. Devon was right, this was a trap. We were lured here, and I need to know why. Agreed, therefore further evidence- We've got a crippled sir. ship, one dead crewman, and too many questions. The Phoenix is in no condition for a fight. If there's a cloaked warbird out there, we may not get answers. Carco, launch a class five probe into orbit and monitor the telemetry. Captain, the use of cloaking technology within the neutral zone would be a severe violation of our treaty with the Empire. If the last years taught us anything, it's not every Romulan is motivated by concern for treaties. There are many conflicting motivations among the Romulans, Captain, not all of them visible. It would be inadvisable to go to the Romulan capital with hasty accusations. I'm not all that interested in Romulan psychology just now, Ambassador. We're being jerked around like marionettes. And the Puppet Master is on Rahansu. All hands! Red alert! Frontier.